Coaching versus feedback versus validation. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Cornwell with Get Taped in Atlanta, Georgia, one of Atlanta's original audition taping services. Who knew that I co-own with my amazingly talented, beautiful wife and best friend, Brooke. Ah, never gets old. And now on to our topic. Coaching versus feedback versus validation. First of all, after last week's marathon video, I think this one will be a little shorter. Now at Get Taped, actors come in all the time and ask for help. And that request for help usually comes in three different forms that I want to talk about today. Coaching, feedback, and validation. And while it seems like just semantics, it's important to make the distinction. So let's dive in. Coaching. This word gets thrown around a lot. Actors come in and ask us all the time, do you coach? Sometimes over email, sometimes when they're in the room. And our short answer is no. We feel like a coach is a serious commitment. And to illustrate that, let me use a sports analogy. We're still in baseball season. So if you were to go up to a major league baseball player, like say Matt Olson, go Braves. And if he were to request the help of a batting coach who is not part of the team, who has never seen him before, never met him, and he's never met them. And if he were to ask that batting coach to help him with his swing moments before going into the batter's box during a game, well, that coach could totally mess up his swing, especially given the fact that as of this recording, Matt is the home run leader in the 2023 season. He doesn't need any help. And yet if he was feeling some sort of disconnect, because he did go through a slump recently, and if he were to ask a random coach to help him with that swing, he could end up doing more damage than good. And just like the batting coach, the acting coach needs to be a relationship. For me to coach you, a verb, I would first need to be your coach, a noun. And that can't happen at game time. I mean, during your audition. It's too late to be your coach. I need to be with you when there are no stakes to get to know your technique, where you are on your journey, and to meet you there. And then once there's a rapport established and we've worked together for a few sessions, then we can start to get specific about an actual audition opportunity that has come into your inbox. And that's a lot. And like I said, certainly not something you can ask for in the room once your appointment has started and expect me, Brooke, or our staff members or anyone who might be taping you to help you at that level. So if you truly need coaching, find a coach and hire them before the opportunity has hit your inbox. Warning, it will cost more than taking a general acting class because you're getting hyper-specific feedback tailored to your technique and where you are in your journey right now. So you should expect to pay more. Feedback. Feedback is a word we embrace at Get Taped. Myself or Brooke or any of our staff are more than happy to give feedback from you once we've seen your first or second take. However, feedback is subjective and it's only based on that limited knowledge we have of this script we're seeing for the very first time and your take or two that you've already recorded. And especially if you're brand new to us, and we've never met you before. That is very limited knowledge in the grand scheme of things. So that feedback we are willing to give will be subjective and based on limited knowledge of you. For example, if you tape two takes and after watching them back, you ask me, uh, so which one do you like better? I'm working on too little information other than to give you a gut reaction. I haven't spent enough time with the script. I may not have ever heard of the show or the director or so many other things that don't allow me to have a truly educated opinion on this question. So I'm just going with that gut reaction. Additionally, be prepared for me to not be able to give you much specificity of why I'm choosing one take or another one. Again, it's just something that I'm reacting to in the moment. On the other hand, if you tell me after watching those two or three takes that you were trying to evoke a sense or a feeling of danger in your character and which one of those is the most dangerous then I can give you a specific answer with confidence and I can back it up with the reasons why I feel that way. That's a great specific question that will get specific feedback. So if you want feedback, never ask, what did you think? You must get hyper-specific regarding what you're curious about and what input you want from that person who is your reader. But honestly, even when actors are asking for feedback, what they're really asking for is validation. You just want validation that you didn't poop the bed, right? Isn't that what you're asking most of the time? 
You need your reader to tell you that you just don't suck. That I don't need to hang up my toe shoes and go back to my engineering career after 20 years. Of, wait, this isn't about me. No, uh, this I'm not the one who... Yes, even I struggle with this from time to time still. It's okay. We get it. But be honest with yourself and with your reader as to whether or not that's the subtext of your question. Because if you just ask, what did you think with those puppy dog eyes and that look of desperation... What kind of answer do you expect to get from me or any other sympathetic reader? Well, for me specifically, I'll switch into therapist mode. Side note, I am not a licensed therapist in any way. And I'll try to speak to that lie that is perpetuating inside your head that somehow you need me or this audition or this career or something related to this industry to establish or validate your worth. Blah. Nope, you don't need that. This industry makes a fickle friend and a terrible lover. You'll be constantly seeking its attention and company, and it will be fleeting in its reciprocation. So in that moment of crisis, when you turn to me and say, what did you think? Be ready for a smile and a simple, I liked it. The translation, though, is you're going to be okay, booking or no booking. So when you're standing there in the audition space and you decide to ask something, be clear about what your needs are when you open up to that reader. It's too late to ask for coaching unless that person is your coach. Feedback is great, but get very specific about what it is you're asking for feedback about in regards to your performance, because you may just be looking for validation. And if that's the case, your reader or whomever you're asking this of may not be the best person upon which to place this burden. Hang in there, everyone. And if you have any comments or questions, drop them below. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on set.